welcome back. This is Arcade Night, and today we have a gigantic opportunity that we need to seize. Armenia looks ripe for the taking, but we must be cautious, guys. Also, the good general will attempt to start courting some fine Roman ladies before the war gets started. So guys, I want you to sit back on your comfy throne. I want you to grab a golden chalice of your favorite tasty beverage, and let's get ready to play Imperial Rome. General Rufus has been speaking with his war council, and I believe we have a wonderful plan to take over Armenia. But first of all, we have a couple of things we need to do before the war gets started. And I need to talk to my chancellor, and let's talk about domestic policy. And I think I want to check this out. I'm ready to change my kingdom culture. So if I do that, I can pick one of these cultures. And I think the best thing to do may be Rome itself, the South Party. So let's do that. So I paid 3,000 gold to do that. Um, so hopefully I get to recruit Romans here instead of these civilians or whatever else I was getting. Also, I can't send gifts yet or anything like that because I don't have the companions to do it. So hopefully that's why I'm training up those Armenian recruits to hopefully be some Armenian uh, companions that could join me and help me out. So I think for now we're good. We've changed domestic policy. I'm going to have to check that out. Also, one of my lords, Lords Campan, he is here. Now, I've, I've got plans for you, good sir. I have so many plans for you later in this episode. You're just going to have to wait there. And uh, there, of course, is my companion, who's also my minister. There's really there's not much I can do. I can't dispatch emissaries, of course, because I don't have any more companions. Um, and I don't have any other fiefs to, to hand out. So, for now, I think we're good. So, guys, the next thing I want to do is I want to start heading out and um, seeing if I can find a couple of Roman ladies to start talking to. And actually, I'm going to have to talk to their fathers first to even get permission to talk to them. I'm pretty sure. I just want to take care of this, at least get one or two going before this war gets started. Because once the war gets going, I will have no time to be courting the ladies. Because General Rufus will be a busy man. So guys, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to head out, see if I can find one of these men so I can start speaking to them about their daughters and um, once I get there guys I'm gonna cut right back so I'm gonna see you guys in a second so I've kind of figured out the location of the three fathers I'm trying to convince uh, to allow me to court their daughters uh, one is in Nose, the other is Millet Fortress and the last one is right here at this fortress uh, but of course they're never located in their actual holdings but I did find a Pini Tyron right here and uh, this is the father of Bologna. So, uh, let's see if we can... Oh, he's got negative free opinion of me. Hmm. Uh, huh. Well. Well, I want to ask you something. I doubt if this will work. Oh, okay. Okay, well, may, may I suggest myself? Oh... I see, I see, I have a rival. Finer catch. Finer catch indeed. Okay. Alright, well. Looks like, um, that's one down. I'm not going to pursue that any further. I just, the general just doesn't have time. Just doesn't have time. So I'm going to see if I can find one more. And then, uh, general's got more important business to do. We've got Armenia to conquer. So guys, uh, I'll see you in a second. Okay, I think I found Ari Bars, who is the brother, I believe, of Vicentia. I think she's the oldest of the three, so I'm hoping this works out. But first of all, I'm hoping they let me into the, the castle. Very good. Okay, so so let's let's talk to this gentleman. Let's let's both be reasonable about this, right? She's 15. It's the best match, right? The the, the best match possible. Oh, and Caddy Silly, huh? <laughs> I'm at your service, good sir. Yes. Ooh, we've got we've got a good relationship already. Okay. Yes. Yes, I did renounce it. Um, no, of course we will not come to blows. But there's always a place for you, good sir. I, I do promise you that. I, I wish to ask you something. Um, yes, I would like to do that. Yeah, and I would like to be considered. Um, so in a sense of duty... 
I think I would like to get to know me a bit better. So we need to speak at a later, day, a later date. Okay, so that that's not a no. That's not a no. Well, can I do something for you, good sir? Deliver a letter. <sighs> well, the things I do for political marriages. Um, certainly, I will. I will definitely do that. Mm. All right, guys. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go do this really quickly. I'm not very excited about it. I won't. Won't bother you with it. But I'm gonna go ahead and do this, guys. And then we're gonna get this war started right now. So I'm gonna see you guys in a second. Okay, guys. We're ready to start doing the serious planning and getting our pawns in place for this war against our media. Um, so I have Lord Campan right here, and I'm going to tell him to follow me. So good sir, I have a new task for you, and you need you to follow me all the way back to Anatola. Because I'm going to need you very soon, sir. So he's going to follow me. He's got a pretty good army already, 71. There's my other Lord with, what is it, 32? I'll take the 71 all day over the 32. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I have a very small army, but I'm going to drop most of them off. Um in the garrison for now and but I'm gonna keep one of these military commanders and I'm gonna show you why very soon also I'm gonna keep all these Armenian spearmen and um, Armenian militia uh, the spearmen will soon upgrade into a warrior which will soon upgrade into a cavalryman which will soon upgrade into a veteran cavalryman and that's when he will upgrade also guys my, my morale is really low so I gotta get this going they haven't fought in so long um, okay so I'm gonna go and hire a group. Um, so recently, Anatoa just made me about 9,000 gold. So I'm going to invest all of that into a new army. So I'm going to get some riders. I'm going to get uh, some infantry. And I'm going to get... Well, I guess that was archers. Here's my infantry. Okay, so I think it puts them in the garrison. So let, let's go ahead and, and see... Who these these are um, where are they are they they're not military settlers where did they go surely oh here they are <laughs> okay so uh, let's talk to this infantry okay I have a new order for you I want you to go to well actually that's not what I want you to do no 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 Come here. Come here, good sir. Um, actually, join my party. That's that's the best thing. Okay, then let's talk to this cavalry. Uh, join my party. Okay, good. And then skirmishers. Mm, join my party. Is that all of them? Is there a few skirmishers left? Was I able to get all of them? Oh, I was. Okay, good. Here's what I'm going to do. Um, you, sir. Ooh, there's four military commanders. Okay, so... I'm going to talk to you, and I want you to make a party, okay? And then, let's find this military commander, um, and show me your party. And I'm going to give him all these men. So I'm going to give you uh, this caravan guard, so there you go. Um, I'm going to give you all of these military settlers, and wow, you've got... You got a, a pretty mighty fine army. Um, hmm, let's give you. I'm give you. I guess I'll just give you all of these, right? Wow, look at that. All right, sure. Sure, you're gonna have just uh, this great army. And I'll take the rest of these military commanders and I'll keep that. So you've got a you've got a superior army. Um, and I have a new order. I want you to follow me. So let's see, 180 men. That is a nice army. Please follow me. Then I've got my, my lord, uh, Campan, who's going to be my vanguard for me. Now i got to build my army, guys. Taking a sip of my tasty beverage. All right, so I'm going to think about this, guys. Of course, I'm going to put a lot of Roman engineers in there. I'm going to build this army up, and once I'm ready, I'm going to cut right back. So I'm going to see you guys in a second. All right, guys, i got my army ready. I've got my Roman engineers. Um, of course, I've got more Armenians at the top. I want them to get upgraded pretty quickly. I think I've got like one, five, ten. I've got about ten men on horseback. I wonder if that, if that's a little bit low. If I, I'll go ahead and 
give up five of these men and hmm let me I'll just get ten caravan guard yeah I think I think that's the best thing to do have a little bit more cavalry just in case I need it um, and then I've got tons of archers of a varying various degrees I've got tons of precepts um, and throws of fire javelins, fire archers, and then I've got a little bit of backup. So I, I think we're, we're looking pretty good. We've got a pretty good army ready to go. Morale's really low. Um, I can go to the marketplace, get some more goods, but I'm loaded up on food. I can get a little bit more food, um, but that's not going to help out. I'll get all the bread that I can get to just help out. Um, so I think we're looking good here, guys. I just want to make sure... Yeah, we've got 300 men in Anatoa. I think that'll be okay. I think that's going to be okay. So, here's what we've done. Um, we've got our armies ready. Um, so now what we have to do is choose uh, the, the battlefield of choice. So I've made peace with Judea so I can concentrate on Armenia. Um, and the unfortunate thing is, guys, I went back to the castle and there's no way I can declare war on them because I don't have a companion to send off. So I'm going to maybe, how, hopefully, have to attack one of their transports to start this war. Or I could just flat out try to siege this castle. Hmm, yep, I just, uh, I don't have low enough relationships with them. So who is going to be the target? You look like a good target, sir. You, just hold right there. Don't move. Don't move. Don't you dare move. Good sir, the general's frustrated today, and you will be on the bad side of my frustration. Uh-huh, yes, I know, um, but I'm here to deliver my demands. <laughs> I offer you one chance, good sir. Do you see the army behind me? I know, I know it's a declaration of war, but um, it's time to go. So here we go, we are now, I think... Yeah, we've declared war on Armenia, so this is the way we're going to have to do it, guys. Um, so I'm going to take both onagers in, and then hopefully after this, then we can start our plan where we send our lord off uh, to raid that village and try to gather the Armenian army in one big spot so we can take them out in one fell swoop, and then their lands will be completely open to us. Okay, so let's see. I don't believe they have any onagers, anything we have to worry about. I think they have some good cavalry, though. I think we're going to have to worry about that, but look. We've got some decent cavalry, too. We have some decent cavalry. We're greatly outnumbering them. Right, let's see if we can bring our men a little bit closer up. Mm, I see they're trying to flank us. I believe the archers need a better angle too. And we just need the, the onagers to start working for us. Start making the battlefield smaller and giving the onagers less of a target. Oh, there we go. You see, they're already working. We're making that battlefield smaller. All right, let's see if we can follow through here. Oh, shoot! There goes my shield! Oh, no! Oh, and the general just upgraded. Alright, go ahead and send the uh, the army in as these guys break. Whew. Got a little distracted there. General almost met up. Untimely end to a spear. That Roman shield, though. So solid. So solid. Come on, man. And look, 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 look. My little dog is finishing off. Look at that. Look at that. They are fierce creatures indeed. All right, let's see if I can get this one last person. There we go. That is beautiful. All right, guys. We're going to finish this off, and then uh, we're going to start our plan just like I promised. Oh, we're losing, losing a little bit. What's going on over here? I didn't. We, okay, two men. Two men. That's fine. Two men. Okay. Very good, very good. Okay, guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. And you know what I've just realized? I think I think the morale of my men is so low because, well, I don't know. I don't know. We're going to get out of here. 
And how many did we lose? I was thinking maybe our morale was low because of the Armenians, but it'll be low now because of the Armenians. We weren't at war with them before, but now the ones, the Armenians in my party are probably wondering what the hell's going on. But uh, they have failed to realize that they're on the good side of history. Uh, I will take care of them. Don't you worry. I will take care of them if they take care of me. Um, is there anything of value? Not really. I'm going to leave that junk there. And yeah, I've definitely declared war. Okay, so now we can get going on our plan. So, Palmyra. Where are you, good sir? Is that is that the best battlefield? Hmm, that is pretty good. Get them on the other side. Get them kind of far out. This seems a little close. Let's try Palmyra first. Um, so where are you? There he is. See if we can lure them into Palmyra. Uh huh. I have a new task for you. I need you to raid the village of Palmyra. All right. Now we can finally get this going. So let's let's kind of follow him a little bit. Palmyra's over here. See if we can get ourselves in a good position. Make sure we're protecting Anatoa. Where are you going? That's not Palmyra. Traveling. Why are you traveling there? Are you trying to siege it? That's the East Party. Are you leaving me already, good sir? I, I, I was telling you to do something. I have a new task for you. I need you to raid the village of Palmyra. Okay. Good sir. I expect you to follow the general's orders. And he's traveling. He's traveling. He's traveling. Okay. Is he finally going to do it? Take a sip of my tasty beverage while I wait. Oh, it looks promising. Don't worry, that's Parthian. Not Armenian. Don't worry. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Armenians offer me a peace agreement. <laughs> Reject immediately. Are you still raiding? Anatoa's good. Have a lord protecting it. Are you... <sighs> You are a failure, good sir. You are a failure. You have disobeyed a direct order. Ah, but here they come. Here they come, just like I was hoping. Battlefield of my choice. My men are feeling a little bit spunky. A little bit spunky. Ah, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and do some upgrading before this battle gets started. I mm, think we're looking good. And, of course, General Rufus is upgraded. So let's upgrade the good general. Um, I am continuing to upgrade intelligence so I can get seven in engineering so I can upgrade those onagers to something special. Um, so I'm going to keep pumping points in intelligence. Prisoner management's not important. I think what I shall do, because I can't depend on a medic, is I'm going to be the medic and the engineer. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do one in wound treatment. Hmm... I'd rather have that. I think I'd rather have that. I'd rather have surgery. I think that'll work out. And then more in throwing. Okay. Make a quick save here, guys. All right, so it's pretty exciting. What, what can I tell from far away? I don't know. They look, like, they look like they can muster a pretty big army. All right, so I've got, what, two, three... 350-ish. He's going to head that way. 100. Oh, looks like they're heading to Anatoa. I'm not going to allow that. Oh, I, okay. I'll cut these men off. I'll cut these men off. And what is this? 100, 138. Okay, this looks like a good battle. This is what I want. Two cavalry. And that's 31 axemen. I'm worried about the axemen. Hopefully... If they're axemen, they may not have shields. They probably have shields. Do they have shields? Yep, if I believe they would have shields. That's okay. Javelin's going to take him out. Oh, well, I guess we're going to take one. Got him. guess we got to take him one at a time. Yeah, you're going to be hearing a lot of me. One day, I'm going to be ruling these lands, good sir. And you're just going to have to accept it. Soon, you're going to be wearing Roman garb if you're wise. All right, one chance to surrender, and you don't take it. 
We have 341 against their 100. Looks my, like my little small detachment joined the battle. Um, how much cavalry do we have? 20. Alright, let's go ahead and set our infantry up here. Our archers back here. And again, guys, we're going to make the battlefield as small as we can get it. So give our engineers the best opportunity. Especially if we cut them off here with our cavalry. I'm going to have my cavalry charge in. Right, let's, not, let's not break a shield this time. Ah, damn. Damn, damn, damn. All right, cavalry. Let's uh, keep going, keep going, keep going, cavalry. Keep going. I don't want you to get caught up like that. Yep, that is not... That's not what I want to have happen. Come on, Kyra. Let's get out of here. Bring our infantry up. Bring the cavalry way back. Hold those guys back. Yeah, we lost. Yeah, we lost a few, but that's okay. That's okay. All right, here, here come the, here come the real men. Here come the real men. Oof, needs to watch out. Engineers, watch watch out. Watch out. Okay, now I can bring the cavalry back. Um, go ahead and send the infantry down. And I can bring the archers a little bit closer up. And I think the general can um, have a little fun here. Ah, that's not fun. Not fun missing. Ah! <laughs> All right. Good shot, Armenian. Good shot. That's an Armenian spearman. That's good. They're feisty. They're feisty. All right, let's send in the cavalry one more time. And send our men in. In the shield wall, in fact. Come on. Come on. Help my cavalry out. Okay, good, 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 good. Oh, I can't believe we lost the military commander. All right, Gary, get the hell out of there. You are not doing well. Probably because the general didn't send the infantry in. Come on, general. There we go. There we go! And there's just a few more men. Well, you know, this was an important lesson. That the spearmen are pretty tough. And our cavalry will not be uh, the best option moving forward. So we need to protect the cavalry. The spearmen are pretty good. And, and General Rufus has felt the wrath of the spearmen twice. He's all bloodied. Woo. All right, guys. Um, we've got a long war ahead of us. Um, but I want to thank you for joining me. I had an amazing time in this episode. If you enjoyed this episode, go ahead and hit that like button. You know it helps me out so much. On the next episode, guys, we're going to try to get a huge... A massive pitched battle against the Armenians so we can weaken them and finally start sieging some castles and expanding our lands. So guys, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'm going to see you next time on Imperial Rome.